Welcome to the Super Farmer for the Super Show, the real life Johnny K, Stephen Farmer, right here, right next to me. We got. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt. I'm just a little bit less boring. Or more boring. Yeah, <laughs> more boring. <laughs> Not less boring. All right, so. What we got today is we're talking about what we want in the Mortal Kombat 11 story, all right? We made a whole review about the Mortal Kombat X story. If you want to hear that, go back to that. There'll be a link down below. But we're talking about Mortal Kombat 11, the things we want, okay? So, I'll go ahead and start off. I think you're thinking the same thing. Uh, no particular order, though. We will be talking about the things we want the most probably in the beginning. I want to place the bad guys. On oh, story mode? Yeah. Yeah. Is that crazy? Yeah, you can see both sides of the story. All Why? sides. Why are you always playing the good guys? Because if you always play the good guys, then you're always beating up the bad guys, which means the bad guys are always losing. That means the bad guys all look like a bunch of jobbers. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do it like that? Right. I mean, you have to make them look like some kind of threat, right? Yeah, Game of Thrones, what happens? The bad guys win, good guys die, things like that. You have Mortal Kombat. You've got the opportunity to do that and still bring the good guys back to life. So you have less to risk and you don't always have to die, but you at least lose a fight or something. Right, yeah. And it, even if you win the fight, you're still a good guy. Winning the fight against a bad guy, I, let the bad guy still do something to the good guy after that, like story wise. You can yeah. win the fight, but let something tragic happen to the good guy. I mean, on top of that, you're trying to teach how to play all the characters, right? By you know, like, yeah, we're gonna learn all of the characters, even characters you don't want to use, because mm -hmm. you play the story mode, and you might not like that character. Well, you're only letting us sample the good guys. Let us sample everybody. Maybe have two separate stories. Yeah, let us sample uh, Reptile. He's not even that bad of a guy, once you get to know him. <laughs> <laughs> even though he might not even be in MK11. All right, and other things I want to do. Um, how about some of the good guys die? You yeah, like yeah, that was in my list. So Mortal Kombat 9, all the good guys died almost. We're looking at X, no good guys die. Like, why such extremes? Like, bad guys die, good guys die. Have a, you know, even, you know? This happens, that happens. Back and forth, but we don't know what's go what's happening, you know? Yeah, Mortal Kombat 9 was so cool about that. That's what brought me back into Mortal Kombat. It's like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the way it happened, but, you know, I think it was a cool alternate way of happening. But more on that later. We'll do a more Mortal Kombat 9 story review coming soon. Nate Sindel looked like a badass. Yeah. Uh, well, I just want the bad guys to appear as a huge threat and even win a good bit of it. I want it to be as devastating as MK9 was, or even more. I want to see some good guys die. I don't, I don't, I, want, I want it to feel like the good guys have no chance of winning on that, this. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. I want some good guys to die. I want the, it doesn't have to be the end all be all at the end of MK11, but I want it to look like 12 has to be a big turn. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would so you got Nether Realm teamed up with Outworld versus, and then you and you also got Crazy Corrupt Raiden, and you got Chronica who can stop time. What the uh, fighting? What the special forces with Johnny Cage and actor? Like, what chance do you have? Like, it should look very tough for you to make any advance in the good guys winning the turn. I mean, the whole. Uh, story. So that's well, those soldiers that have fucking suck. I don't. Do you see one person get shot in the game? Part nine and ten. They were, and yeah. Nobody gets shot in the game. Uh, um, then I'd like for uh, 3D characters to make a return. I don't like the way that they're like embarrassed of their 3D era. The way Mario, Nintendo's embarrassed of Super Mario Brothers 2. Have they actually said that, or you just feel that way? I just feel it, you can tell. Like, they barely use, the only 3D characters they love are Ken, uh, Kenshi, they like Kenshi. They love Quan Chi. I think it's uh, Ed Boon went on record saying that's his second favorite character, and those two are always paired together. Who's his first? <clears throat> Scorpion, by far. Um, but uh, Quan Chi, he's been in every game since he was in Mortal Kombat 4. He, there's not been a Mortal Kombat game without him. Even if he's not playable, he is in the story or he is somewhere around. Mm -hmm. So he was in Mortal Kombat versus DC in the story part. They were gonna make him DLC later. Um, he's, you know, mythologies, he, he's in everything. So they like uh, Quan Chi, they love Kinchi, and they kind of like Shinnok and Tanya, they've done some stuff with her, but where I chose. Frost is coming back, so that's one 3D air character, but they need to bring back more. Raiko, Havoc, uh, there's, Kai has possibilities to do stuff with. Um, 
And there's more Deadly Alliance and Deception characters that I think uh, could actually be fleshed out more. Shijinko, Hotaru, all these characters. Um, I think... Onaga. Onaga. They could do a lot with a lot of these characters. They don't need to be so embarrassed, but even the characters everybody hates, like, uh, you know, Suhao and... Uh, Jerry? <laughs> well, I don't even like Jerry. But uh, Suhao and... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Darius. Like, I don't think they're that bad, and they could be better. So... I feel like they should bring some of the 3D era characters back. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and along those lines, I'm, I'm saying, like, I think how the story went like in Deadly Alliance and Deception and Armageddon, I think that it should be a parallel version. Like, Raiden did something different than what happened, but I think those events should still keep happening, but in a, their own different way. Kind of, um, Mortal Kombat X had some Mortal Kombat 4 similarities to it, but I think it deviated too far. I would like... To see kind of some, maybe Deadly Alliance Deception, Armageddon kind of uh, similarities. How it's like uh, they both are going up a path that's similar, but in its own different way because of the past actions of what happened. Right. And I'd like to see how Raiden's choice affected it. I don't want different things just to be happening because they're different. I'd like to see like how it, if you go back far enough, it all makes it. Oh, I can see how that makes sense because of what Raiden did. Like, mm -hmm. like yeah, I see how. Liu Kang and Kung Lao being dead has to do with Raiden going back, but I don't see how Sindel, you know, killing people or uh, Shang Tsung being dead has to do with what Raiden chose. It's just kind of like random. So I want it all to kind of harpen back to how it makes sense from Raiden going back in a parallel version. And it's like, and how it shows like, yeah, there may not have been Armageddon where Shokan wins, but it's showing bad stuff still happening. But I want it to make sense. I don't want it to be like Raiden did this and then all this crap happened. So you're saying something like there was cyber smoke, but then because of Raiden's choices and decisions... It, yeah, that made Raiden sense. It was cyber uh, sub-zero. Yeah, that made sense. Okay. So I want yeah. things to have a reason, not just that they're different just because they're different. I want it to be because it all comes back to an action and it makes you think. And that would make the story have a lot, have a theme to it, how you can go back and change things, but things still go wrong. So that'd be a strong theme, and it would also uh, have a lot of like uh, pros and cons and make you really think about the actions. It, it makes you don't think in your own mind, like, what if I went back and I did this? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it doesn't mean everything's going to be better. Bad stuff happens. But I also don't want it to seem like, oh, it's all Raiden's fault. It's like, no, it's not Raiden's fault. He's, he did the best he could besides sending a kind of a riddle back to himself. He must win. He could have been more descriptive. But, you know, it's, pl it's a plot device. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and... Another thing I would like. Well, so, here, I got one for you. Okay, you got one. I want to see some uh, story develop in the character of Baraka. I don't know. There's not that much about Baraka in the past games. He's just like there, and I mean, he's the leader of the Tarkatan, but I want to see more develop with this guy. I want to know. I want to get to know Baraka. Who is Baraka? Yeah, you're, you're saying we don't want just the same story characters seeing, you know, the Sonya Johnny. No, not just the same. Thing. Thing. Yeah, we want, we want to see these characters that are always in the background, like these third or second yes. stream story characters. Right. We, don't make him like uh, an official jobber, like a supreme jobber type character. That's what I feel like he is. That's, I feel like reptiles like that and Baraka. Are yeah, yeah, no. It doesn't have to be like the main character story, but he could have a kind of a pivotal part that is like a gear within the story, not just some guy that comes in and his only role is to just like, you know, fight and stuff like that. Right, yeah. And you could have, and you could flesh out his story and find out about his like, his past and his lane and what he's fighting for in each character. Like, give every character their own chapter. Mm -hmm. And even if it's like one or two fights, like let us find out a little bit about their story. Yeah. So I just want to know more about this guy. Yeah, the only way they let you do it is if you play like their uh, arcade ladders and see an ending. That's the only way you really get to find yeah, out. Yeah, I shouldn't have to do so much work to find out about this guy. <laughs> he's got enough to do already. He's working two jobs and make them do more cool. so here's something I would like call me crazy here but I don't know if they've had an official Mortal Kombat tournament since Mortal Kombat 2 in part 3 they just invade in part 4 Shinnok's just invading Deadly Alliance I don't remember if they had a tournament Deception they're just trying to stop the Dragon King Armageddon, they're fighting up a tower, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> I don't think there was a, a story on well, it. I mean, how, tournament. How frequent are the tournaments, like yearly? Like, is it every year, or 10 years, 100 years? I forgot, I think it's every 100 years or well, something. Well, how like the hell can they, Liu Kang's in the first one. Was he 100? Because they changed 20? the rules. Like, we, we want another one, like, right now. Mm -hmm. 
in, winner takes all. Yeah, winner takes all. Yeah, so that's I what remember they did. that. That was in part nine. They did it because was that in the original one? Too? Yeah, that was in the original two? one. That okay. was in the original one. So, so what was part three? Part three was just an invasion. Okay. So they have that's what I'm saying. There hasn't been an official Mortal Kombat tournament. I don't think since the second one. Mm -hmm. Bring back the tournament. I want a tournament. All right. I want a tournament. And here's another thing I want in the game. When deaths happen, I want them to be at the end of a fight through a fatality. Mortal Kombat's all about like you kill somebody at the end of a fight mm -hmm. and they die. So why are all the deaths in the story happening all these random events? One character comes in and kills like nine of them that's not even in a sanctioned tournament fight. Like have one by one because then each fight means something. If every fight somebody may lose or die, may die or something, mm -hmm. then the fights mean a lot more. So if you're having tournament fights, it plays into the story. And if people are dying at the end of the fight, it plays in it. Is this character going to live or die? Mm -hmm. And it plays into the whole Mortal Kombat theme. So I think that would be a great thing to add into Mortal Kombat. To add Mortal Kombat. Add Mortal Kombat. Back to Mortal Kombat. Make Mortal Kombat <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> 2019. Hollywood movie cliches, shooting a bunch of bullets and then never hitting somebody, all the quips like you're in a Marvel movie talking to each other while you're fighting. All the way. It looks like, I don't know how we're gonna get out of this situation, like fighting back to back against all these monsters. Cut they crap out, all these like ladies. The cliche like uh, endings that harken to the beginnings of like, that she called me Johnny. Like, ah, it was so, I know it's Mortal Kombat, but you know, you could do, you don't have to make it like campy, make it, an actual like fun, good sci-fi movie. Part nine was the best Mortal Kombat. I mean, the like, story, story yeah, so far. It's good gameplay too, but yeah. Yeah, so those are those are pretty much all of my requests. I'm not saying you have to make the story go this way or have to do it that way or I really want it this way. Just take it all this crap, add some stuff that would actually it's just like basic storytelling in the game, making the you know the villain seem like an actual threat. You know, take out the corny stuff, please, and put the tournament in there, and you know, get to play the bad guys. I'm not asking for a lot, I don't think. I think you are. Um, too maybe I am. But that's what we wanted the more common eleven story. We're gonna find out what happens in uh, just a couple of weeks, a few weeks, at the right. end of April. Yeah. So we'll find out, guys. Hopefully, it comes in there. Let us know what you think. In the comments what, below. What would you like to have happen? Do you agree with what we say? Do you disagree? Whatever. Let us know, and we'll talk to you next time.